Before you can even dream about having any success on Twitch, you need to have... What? No, no, that's... I mean, I guess, but that's, that's not what I meant at all. I was gonna say alerts. You need alerts, because otherwise no one is gonna, going to take your channel seriously. Yeah, that's kind of weird. But anyways, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can add alerts or even custom alerts to your stream, hopefully in less than five minutes. Let's go. So the first thing you gotta do when you're in stream elements is you have to go to my overlays and then you can create a blank new overlay if you don't have any. But for me, I'm just gonna open the same overlay that we created together in my last OBS Studio tutorial video on YouTube. I know this looks really ugly right now, but this was just the basics we covered in the last video. Adding alerts to your stream is actually super simple. All you need to do is go down left in the corner and click on the plus sign here go to alerts and now we're gonna add alert box and as you can see this alert box already can play literally any alert we need follow subscriber tip alert and so on so let's see what we can do with our follower alert first uh, as you can see this is what it looks like right now this is the default alert on stream element so if you now try to emulate the alert then it pops up like this with a nice sound. Here you can obviously change the alert message, you can change the alert duration. This is really uh, important for customization options. But now what would you do if you don't like the default one and you want to change it? Well, that's really easy. You can either set a new image alert or you can add a video alert. So in this example, let's add a new video alert. As you can see, I already have a bunch of alerts here. Before you can add a new image or a video to an alert, then first you have to upload it. So just click on upload over here and then drag and drop any files you want to be added. And now once it's uploaded, then just submit you know, your chosen alert. And here you can see it's already here. This is my default follower alert on Twitch and if you play it now, it shows it like this. If you don't like the default sound and you want to change it as well, then just clear sound and upload a new one. Alright, so for the next thing, let's add some variation to our subscriber alerts. Whenever anyone is going to subscribe to our Twitch channel, this is the alert that's gonna going to play. But let's say we want to add a different variation or different alerts for when somebody gifts a subscription. So for this, let's go to variation settings. And here we already have some default different uh, variations. So subscriber gift is here, let's go to the settings. And here, for example, let's change the video to something else. And now save variation. And let's emulate a gifted subscription. Green, green, what, what's your problem? Green? So that's, that's an option for you. <laughs> Anyways, another thing you can add to your subscriptions is a TTS, so text to speech. Enable text-to-speech if you want, for example, something like this to happen. No. Hey be... Sips, I just Put like to here. say I appreciate everything you do and think you're a very attractive man and I aspire to be just like you one day. Nice. Just kidding you fucking degenerate 777 tree decillion 707. So yeah, if you want, then this is a great way to let your chat kind of troll you a little bit if you want. All right, so now that we have added some basic customization to our alerts, then just click save up here. And if you don't have already copied this overlay to your OBS Studio, then click on this chain to copy overlay URL. Go to OBS Studio, head on to the sources box, click on the plus sign, choose browser source. You can rename it if you want. Let's just say overlay, click OK, paste the link here. And over here, make sure to change the resolution to the same as your output resolution in, in OBS. So this means the same resolution that your viewer is going to see. Click OK. Make adjustments if needed. Now, if I try to emulate a follower event, then we should see it here in the OBS. And there we go. I'm not sure if this was less than five minutes, but hopefully now you can just go and enjoy your new alerts or even custom alerts if you have any. I hope this video helped you. If it did, then leave a like on this video and also subscribe if you haven't yet. And that's about it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. GG.